back for round three that is not a misprint this is five color humans assuming he's playing Thalia I would have to assume but you know I mean you know. we don't know we haven't seen the deck she had a lieutenant I've seen Aether Vial okay this would be a match that the Aether Vial is actually relevant again <laughs> it won't uh, feel terrible here uh, like it does most of the time otherwise Unsettled Mariner yep that's a card I never felt super good about that card when I was total trying to play humans, but it's not bad. It's a good card. That's one that always feels a little underwhelming. It's a taxation without representation. All right. Yeah. Either Vile will actually do stuff here. It's a weird world to see Either Vile doing something again. I hate to be negative, Nelly, but I just think that it means he's going to play one less creature than he could have. You know, I agree with that. That's generally what happens. <laughs> All right. Let's do human things. Yeah. Isaiah's off to a super good start. Yeah, and that's where... No, no. I'm already... Oh, have, this guy... Yeah. All right. That's the thing. Huh? He didn't cast anything. Yeah, he knows. Okay. He figured it out. He got there. He's like, wait a minute. It's a cast. The fuck? It's not. Either Vile doesn't cast shit. Yeah. His counter spells in hand. What Isaiah? Trying That's to win good. a tournament tomorrow? <laughs> right. Come correct, son. No, does. Can't even beat bad Ponza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I think you should play Breach trigger. tomorrow, is what I think. Yeah. Been that. I told him. Top three. Going to see a land here. There's yep. definitely a land. Yeah. Monkey in hand, spell pierce, angel yeah, spell shit. Pierce. <laughs> this is, this is yeah. the worst spell pierce matchup in history. Uh, you want to unholy heat one of these guys. Like, now. That would be good. That would be good. I guess the bigger one at this point. Oh, he does. He have Delirium? Land instant. He doesn't. Delirium? He no. could try to hit Delirium, but that seems mm, a little yeah. iffy. Yeah, it looks like he's going to kill the Lieutenant now. I mean, he's going to have a good... Well, it's not going to be a good enough blocker. But, yeah, you got to get one of these things off the table. Zap. Surveil trigger. Actually, if he had a uh, fourth type in hand, he could have. Act Actually, he could have done this. He could have totally went after, over the bigger thing, knowing that he was going to trigger uh, the right, uh, Ledger right. Shredder and discard the monkey. We'll see if that if it comes back to bite him. Leaving himself wide open here. That's it's aggressive. <laughs> yeah, that's aggressive. Maybe he's too young to have ever played against humans. Dude, no. <laughs> That's just definitively not true since uh, I'm the store owner. I, 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 I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I am the one human guy that's ever existed in this area. I mean, not the one, but I was the guy for a long time. Meddling mage in the main. The one human guy. Ordinary human bartender. <laughs> I wonder what he's naming. Oh, God. Murktide would be a good name. I'd have to think so. Would, would actually the heat unholy heat would be a great name. Yeah. Another lieutenant. That's good. That's a good start. All right. Well, yeah, I wonder if this plays the bounce thing. The oh, ref I'm sure ref reflector yeah. mage versus this <laughs> looks, Murktide. That'd be gross. This looks pretty stock, so I absolutely guarantee that he is. I can just charm steal that champion. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a, that's that. a thing that you can do. I would probably... I would probably wait till he untaps it. Yeah. 
yeah. It is definitely a real play here. Does he have delirium now or no? Creature. Yeah, he does. He, he okay. gave himself so just, delirium. Yeah, just swing with a Darcy. Be patient with it. No. Okay. He's racing, and his race does not involve stealing this thing. I don't like his. his I think his he's racing poorly. <laughs> I think. No. That, okay. He's got a big dude. That is apparently not named by Bendling Mage. I I assume it's unholy. He is what he names. Yeah. All right. So maybe, I want him to have the bounce creature so bad, John. <laughs> I know it doesn't right now. He's just got this. It, it, it looks like he might get a little overwhelmed by some flyers here. Yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, can't tell. It's a. I think so it's. Much I think flipping. it's one of the mana dork guys. So much flipping. Yeah, it's it's a noble hierarch. Uh, okay. The noble hierarch. Yeah, I think he's probably dead. Maybe. Um, maybe not. I don't know. I mean. Attacking alone doesn't do anything good here. Attacking alone doesn't do anything. I think you should, if you were going to draw a card, you should have done it already. Yeah, I had a time for sure. He can't, like, attacking with everything doesn't really do anything either. I think he's just dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Six, nine... Well, Isaiah doesn't have delirium right now. Oh, because of the mercy. So if he attacks, if he attacks, uh, all he has to do is attack with the champion. Isaiah's going to take six. And Isaiah has to chump the champion. Yeah. And so Isaiah will. Oh, wait, wait, no, never he's mind. He's got two. Him. He's got two. Oh, I forgot about the ledger shredder yeah. over there. Okay. So he's, he's yeah. covered. I mean, Isaiah, Isaiah's definitely in a spot for sure, but I think. Three, six. He's going to take six. Or nothing if he just attacks with one guy. Okay. Yeah, the, the, it doesn't matter. You, you just got to hope that Isaiah fucks up on the blocks and there's no way he's going to do that. So. Yeah. yeah no. And he got lethal flying damage on the way back. So. Yeah, human guy, you are dead in game one. Austin. Austin Rock. Nice to meet you, Austin. Thanks for coming out. But you're dead right now. Oh. Um. And Isaiah still has Archmage Charm too, which is hilarious. Okay. All right, let's go to the sideboards. Yeah. So, a lot of shit you haven't seen. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> um, yeah, very much. I yeah, Isaiah is I, playing I, I the thing him. that uh, I said you might enjoy, which is Merc Tide. Uh, the last thing he played was a, it's a dragon. It's like a seven drop, uh, two blue and five. It has delve. Mm -hmm. And whenever it enters with a counter for each instant or sorcery you exile and when you delve it, and then... When it's in play. Give me a fruit brew. Uh, oh, God. Dragon. Uh, whenever it's in play. Brute fruit. Whenever an instant of sorcery is exiled from your graveyard, it gets a counter. Mm. And then some of the other stuff is. Express Federation came out. That's one of the most powerful cards in the format right now. It's a blue and a red sorcery. You. Is it Lookout or Exile? Mm -hmm. Exile's top three or look at the top three? Look at the top three. Look at the top three. You put one in Exile that you can play one in hand and one on the bottom of your library. <laughs> so that you just dig right through. And it's got measured bobbles and really efficient things. The uh, one-drop creature that we were saying, calling Darcy, the one one for one red. Whenever you cast a non-creature, you surveil one, which is like uh, scribe up in your graveyard. If you have delirium, it's a three-three flyer that can't block. So it's like it's a one mana three-three that yeah. digs through your yeah. yeah. It's pretty nuts. Super efficient. Um, super efficient. Are, are people building entirely around that at this point? The monkey is a big. Did you talk about the monkey? 
or Darcy. He's probably talking about Darcy. Yeah. Um, it's not so necessarily build around. It's just because it's so efficient. It goes into pretty much. Just yeah, fits a lot of red decks, especially like the tempo-y red decks like this. And then there's a monkey, uh, Ragavan. Remember Carrie's Ev? Yes. So they made a legendary creature for the monkey itself that she made. So two one for one. Whenever it hits an opponent, you exile the top card of the library. You oh, make a treasure of theirs. You make a treasure token, and until in the turn, you can play the card that you exiled with them. And he also has dash for two. So, also, pretty nutty card. Yeah. <laughs> Taking the Ragman's out, Spell Pierce's out. Good call there. What's he bringing in? E-E's, yeah, the monkey is so ridiculous. So, so they have oh, this Archmage's like Charm, mm-hmm. which uh, is kind of this like three mana. It's three blue. You can either draw to uh, counter a spell or gain control of a one drop. Oh, yeah. In, any one drop permanent. And uh, I was playing a blue black control deck, and my opponent played a monkey, and um, I stole his monkey with my Archmage's Charm, gain control of a one drop. And I ended up beating him with a 3-3 three, three double strike. A 5-mana 3-3 three, three double strike from his own deck. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Because I stole his monkey and started playing his shit. Yeah, Archmage Charm is a fantastic card, too. All right, let's see what everybody's working with here. Like I say, bring in another vial for the human guy. Hierarch, that's a pretty good... St- yeah, that's a pretty good starting hand for humans. Um, work tied, a braid. It is a freebooter. People are still doing that? Well, if you're playing Meddling Mage in your main, you kind of need to. All right. Shock. You get the Darcy down. Get the bobble. Surveil trigger. Another consider. Go ahead and bin that. Bobble. Him. Oh, I can't quite see who it is. You son of a bitch. The uh, where he's gonna show us his hand here as soon as he gets freebooted. All right, all right. And I'm gonna assume that's what he's gonna do here. Yeah, it, it's. I think it's the only play that really makes sense. Sneaking the noble at end of turn I wouldn't bother doing it now because. Yeah. Rebooter is going to take... Isaiah's like, oh, this shit. Isaiah still has Counterspell on yeah, his deck. What I a know. weeb. Yeah, he probably should have probably cut that. He what? cut the spell pieces. Jesus Christ. He just started playing Magic today. Oh. There oh, my go. God. Wow, I got two cards instead of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put that motherfucker right back on top, John. I don't know about you. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, he's and next turn, I'm taking two cards. All right. Did you put it on top? No, you put it on bottom. Oh. Yeah, you probably should have. I would put it on top. I kind of agree. Maybe maybe you wanted a better clock. Probably. I can understand that. All right. Bobble trigger. Or not bobble trigger, Darcy trigger. Left it on top. Should probably go ahead and abrade the vial since you brought a braid in. Yeah, I wouldn't remember though. I'd be I'd be looking to kill creatures. Yeah. I mean, since he kept counter spells in, I'd think about well, he's got the cavern already anyway, so Alright. E E ooh, that's good. Yeah, let him extend. Extend. Uh Austin did not sneak in the he did not. hierarch, which is a little weird. Not good, but you know, not going on. Not going on. He knows right. it though. So phantasmal image. He's got nothing really great to copy with the. Image. Isaiah took so many actions that he just kind of lost sight of right. what was going on. All right. Oh, this so, is kind yeah. of an awkward. awkward no, it hand. is. It is an awkward hand. This uh, extraction specialist. While I do like the card, I don't like the this, card. Well, so I appreciate the card, um, but this is why the card's not really playable is because you don't have anything in your graveyard. Isn't appreciating a card just a nice way of saying that you don't like the card? No, I, I appreciate it. I'm not, that's a, it's a nice way of saying that, like, I'm not, I'm not playing the card, you know. So now he's just got a 3-2 lifelinker. Or don't take this the wrong way. But I'm about to say some shit that's going to blow your world up, man. And here's the abrade going to kill that thing. Ramp. You're going to make a 
copy of it. I mean, it fucking, really at this point, anything, you may as well. It? No, it doesn't, but he has a body, I guess. So, it's it's dead, right? Yeah, there we go. He's dead. Okay. Roop. Roop. Oh, look. Mop this shit up. Yeah! Oh, man. I really do wish that humans were, like, good, but, man, they're just not anymore. The format is too efficient. Swinging in for three, I assume, right? I'm sure he's got... Yeah, he's going aggro. Creature. Yep. Zay is in pretty good shape here. Yeah, with everything in hand, yeah. He doesn't have anything to worry about. I really think the freebooter on top would have been It would have, I agree play. with you. It definitely He could have freebooter, taken a removal spell, copied the freebooter, taken another removal spell. Ooh, not, not, really... not getting these one drops in play when he had the chance also was kind yeah, of rough. Yeah, for sure. Because now it's going to get there. All right, so he's going to attack. Isaiah is going to unholy heat with the exalted triggers on the stack. Or not. No, he is. <laughs> or that thing. Yeah. Either way, he's killing he it. He can let him resolve. I'd let him resolve. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Dead. Darcy trigger. Oh, God. Now this EE. -E. Oh. <laughs> Let's clear this duty board out completely. He probably won't because it's going to clear his own to. board out. Well, he's only got one thing, though. He's only given up a Darcy. Yeah, which but is I mean, a lot his, to his thing up. actually does something. Yeah, that's true. No, yeah. I can probably think about it. Yeah, I, I knew that was chilling in his hand. So, oh, yeah, that's going to be a ginormous Jurgen. It's a fucking big boy there. Two mana, 8 8 flyer. Nothing to see here. Yeah, no bigs. E, e on one. Yeah. Humans. I think you're dead. <laughs> Where's a meddling mage or not oh, meddling mage? Uh, I don't even think he has it. We haven't seen it. Like by now, you'd have think to have. Oh, oh it's in his it hand. Is. It's he in his hand. It. Oh, this is so awesome. I mean. Everything I've ever wanted in life just happened, John. He's still so fucked, though. <laughs> I mean, he got it out and, you know, he made him dull. That's okay. It's okay. He's going to jam it back out. Like. Yeah, but it's going to be so much smaller. It is, I guess. It's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. He still has delirium. He won't. Okay. It's going to... Actually, playing it out would be bad now. Yeah. There'd be less power on board. Yep. Yeah, he's still in pretty good shape. Uh, block well, it couldn't play it out anyway since it just got reflector maged, I guess, right. but... Oh, yeah. I haven't seen this card in so long. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what it did. Yeah. We know it bounced. That's, that's, you missed like half of it. Is this for the 3-0? Yes, it is. No. No, it's not? No, no it was confirmed to draw? Both of, the, both of these, like, uh, all four of the top players going into this were 1-0 one -oh and 1. So. Mm, nice. There, there nice. will be no 3-0. Oh. Awkward. It's a little awkward. Yeah, it is it's a little awkward. Yeah, th th there were in the last round specifically like everybody drew it was pretty fucked up alright big enough dragon to murder people these phantasmals have nothing to copy except for uh, hierarchs so they're not doing anything because he can copy his murktide in block <laughs> yeah that's not great no it's not but it's a thing Curious, he would not just hold up the vial to do so, but you know. And kill now it. it's dead. Kill your Merktide. He's dead. All right. And so are you. Jamin. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of think Super the EE was kind of like a meh bring yeah. in for. Isaiah. I think it's a. I think it makes. I think it's good to kill two drops and two drops alone. Yeah. Nine. Right. Like he's got like. All of his threats are one mana. Like, I actually, I actually hate it 
a lot now that the more i think about it because i mean he's got monkeys and drcs and then he's got uh he's he's got the bird at two mana right like i just don't think there's any and that those are the only options i think it's kind of a meh bring in it makes sense for what it makes sense for the match just like at a snap i, I guess a to get the, the counter spells are worthless yeah. so just getting those yeah. out whatever the cost may be yeah I mean, it could have lined up differently. Here Subtlety there, but, worked out pretty well. I think that yeah. Austin should have kept it on top. Yeah. Because right? he could have been getting in for like a, you know, Chunk if he would have got, well, he could have been getting in because he could have got the Hierarch in sooner and then been attacking with a 2-3 flyer, a 3-4 flyer at yeah. some point, but he just didn't go that route. All right. So well, there it was. Uh, welcome to the store, Austin. Hope to yeah. see you back. Thanks and for uh, this does it for the six o'clock. We may be back at 10. Maybe. It's hard we'll to tell. It, it it these to these tell holiday hours are between now and the end of the year. Ten o'clocks are kind of iffy. Yeah. But uh, yep, yep, yep. But yeah, thanks we, for we got a, we got a hippie crowd that can come in and boost the numbers. So hopefully we see some hippies right. tonight. Um, I want to remind everybody too the uh, next invitational. I just updated the information on the between round stream. But the next invitational is January twenty eighth. At <laughs> I had a look at my hand note. Um, at one o'clock, and then the modern. 500 is coming up February 23rd. So, plenty of chances to qualify for the Invitational still. Isaiah has been gobbling up all the 3 0 points, so somebody's got to get in here and get more points. Yeah, so. we should just tell him to stop playing. <laughs> all right, quit it. He said he wants to get to 10, but, you know. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for tuning in. We will hopefully be back for 10. Otherwise, you guys have a good weekend if we are not back by 10. Oh. Uh.